Hello, it's Rage of the Metal Age here, bringing you my top 10 favourite metal songs of 2014. We've had a lot of good bands releasing some good songs this year, so I think it's finally time to reveal what I think are personally the top 10 best this year. Okay guys, at number 10 it's going to be Bonsai Kamikaze by Cavalera Conspiracy. Now, I've always been a big fan of Max's work, since Sepultura to Soulfly, and I do listen to Cavalera Conspiracy sometimes, but not exactly too much. Uh, my favourite thing that Max has done is obviously going to be Sepultura back in the old days, I mean, come on, that is his best work, let's be honest. But, it's really good to see Max and I go working together again, because I go Cavalera is one of the best metal drummers of all time, no questions asked. But what I like about this personal song is it's got a really freshy feel to it, and even in an interview Max said he just he didn't want any, melo any melody really, he just wanted to get straight into it, straight with his old style kind of fresh, which it really reminds me of kind of the Arise era if I'm pers personally honest. Uh, but also it's got some really heavy guitar riffs, like there's one bit in the song when this like alarm goes off, it kind of reminds me of like, Disturbed for some reason, I don't know why, but like it reminds me of Indestructible, and that song is awesome, and it just has a really heavy riff in it, and I think that's what made me really like the song. Um, but I think the only thing that let it down was the fact that the vocals were a bit too quiet and when the vocals are a bit quiet it does really affect the song and it, it kind of made me didn't like it as much. I mean, besides that it's perfect. The riffs are good. It gives it a really slayery feel. I don't know why but the riffs are really slayery. Um, but no, I really like this song. The, the only reason why it wasn't higher is yeah, because of the vocals. And that is Cavalera Conspiracy's Bonsai Kamikaze. Check it out. Okay guys, at number 9 is Up of Eternal Rains Will Come. Now if I'm perfectly honest, I haven't been into this band long. I'd say about a month or so. I've always heard really good things about Up of, so I just wanted to really check them out for myself and see what the big fuss was about. And they do deserve the hype, to be honest, because Up of are a really talented band. Like, they're one of those bands that are always constantly changing. Like, if I compare them to any band, they'd probably be Mastodon. All of them are very different. They have that same concept of change in every album. I really like the Blackwater Park album. But my favourite era of Opeth is just when they went more melodic coming without the screaming. I mean, I usually like that, but like, with Opeth, I think they're much better as a melodic band. I really like Eternal Rains Will Come because it's, it's always changing and the musicianship is just brilliant. Like, they always have great musicianship and Michael's a really, really, really good musician. And I love to listen to Opeth, especially at night time. They just really get the atmosphere going. So as a verdict, I can say definitely check out Eternal Rains Will Come, it is a brilliant song. Um, and check out Up if you haven't already, I mean, I wasn't too sure at first because I wasn't really a big black metal fan, but um, once I took out, checked out Up of there, they were a really great band. So check out Eternal Rains Will Come. Okay guys, the number 8 is Sabaton, Hell and Back. Now personally I think Sabaton are one of the best power metal bands out there. Every song is just really catchy, but particularly Hell and Back, which is the new single off Heroes. But as well as, as, well as Hell and Back, I think Heroes deserves a mention because Heroes is a great album, it's one of the best releases this year. Every song is about a different soldier and you know how important they were, what they did, and it just got me more hooked on the songs to be honest. But Helen Back, personally, I think every instrument did the best they could do in it. It starts off with like a whistle at the start and it bursts in with the guitar riffs and the vocals and it's really catchy. I think the thing about palm oil is you need catchiness and if you don't have it, then it's not going to be a good palm oil song. But Salvatore's new album is perfect, Helen Back is perfect, I really love this album. Uh, check out the song because it's probably one of the best Salvatore songs out there. Okay guys, the number 7 is Macedon's High Road. Now these are one of my all time favourite bands and I like Over for constantly changing genres. I can't say I was too keen on the new album, I don't know what it was about it, but I just couldn't get into it. 
But like the songs that were good, like Chimes at Midnight and High Road, are pretty awesome to be honest. Uh, High Road in particular is one of my favourite songs on the album, and I just had to give this one a mention because it is one of the catchiest songs I've ever heard, and I must sing this like nearly every day. Um, the drumming is absolutely excellent on it. Uh, the way he can drum and sing at the same time, he does it so uniquely. Like I don't know any other drummer that could compare to him, to be honest, in the metal genre. Um, but yeah, High Road, that is probably one of the best songs released this year. Uh, it's a shame the album couldn't be as good. I mean, I don't know if I should give it another listen. It might be better if I give it another chance, but High Road in particular, give it a listen. It's an awesome song. Okay guys, the number 6 is Alestorm's Drink. Now these aren't really a serious band, they're more just a fun band, but the Pirates, like seriously, what more could you want? Um, I've always loved Pirates, I knew really like I love Pirates of the Caribbean and all that. And the lyrics to Drink are just great, it's just about stealing rum and beer, just everything piratey really. I saw them at Sonosphere, they were so good, like, they weren't really in mosh bits or anything, but it's just, they're a really good sing-along band and they just get stuck in your head all the time, especially this song in particular. And they don't need like serious lyrics to make a good song, it's just fun, you know what I mean? And the riff to the start of this song is like really heavy, then it goes into that kind of piratey style music and the combination of metal and that kind of piratey music just make a really good combination together. And as a verdict, I'd probably say you should listen to this song if you like fun songs. They're not really serious, um, but I reckon if you like Ailstorm, if you like the previous stuff and listen to this yet, you're gonna really like this song. Okay guys, at number 5 is Overkill's Armourist. Now these are one of my favourite thrash metal bands of all time and they definitely deserve to be up there with the best. Uh, Bobby Blitz is one of the best thrash metal vocalists out there. He can still do those high pitched screams that he probably could have done about 20 years ago. He's absolutely amazing for his age. Um, and Overkill is so consistent with making good music that like they haven't made a bad album in my opinion. They always manage to change but still keep that kind of thrash metal vibe that we know and love. And the new song in particular is like a roller coaster ride from start to finish. Like, um, it's just come constantly fast. It's always pounding you with the fast vocals, the fast guitar riffs, and then it comes in with that amazing bass riff, which is so inspiring as a bassist. Then with the heavy riff after that, it's just an amazing song. I think this is probably one of the best thrash metal songs of this generation, to be honest. Um, and Bobby Blitz, like I said, he's an amazing vocalist. And if you guys seriously need to give this song a listen, if you like thrash metal, then you definitely need to listen to this. So is it just me, or everyone can see the world drowning in its own blood? Humanity's decline, dismantled over time, a fossil dry. Okay guys, at number four is Slayer and Flood. Well, excuse me for a moment. Slayer! 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 Ooh, I just had to get out of my system. Okay, about the song, Slayer are my second favourite band. I love Slayer so much, and when the new song came out, everyone was really critical about it because Jeff Hanneman's dead and uh, Dave Lombardo's like, left the band. But I still had really high hopes for this song. And when I listen to it, it's like it combines the old Slayer with the new. It starts off with kind of like the Christ Illusion and the Low Painted Blood era. And then like in the middle of the song it goes into the fast thrashy slayer that we've known to love. Like kinda of like the rain in blood era if you know what I mean. And it, the lyrics are just like really brutal and violent, just how we like them. It's like it can't like, I don't think anyone can really complain about the song really because it's just it's just how Slayer have always been. I think it's just because since like the important members have gone, they think that Tom Ryan and Kerry King Carter still make good music, but that's not the case at all. They've got Exodus guitarist and Testament's drummer, so that's still pretty good. Yeah, check out the song, it is brilliant. Okay guys, at number three is Machine Head Killers and Kings. Now Machine Head are always one of those bands that I can rely on to make good music. 
from Burning Ice to Locust, they've always made masterpieces. Locust is my favourite album in my opinion that I've listened to by then. They always make really good music, like, and I, I think they've only gotten better to be honest. And Killers and Kings is a great song. Like, the thing I like about Machine Head most is their heavy breakdowns, and they always do really good heavy breakdowns. And it, it makes me admire them more as a band, because they're probably my favourite kind of riffs out there. And I'm also seeing them in December, so I'm really looking forward to seeing Killers and Kings live. I've only seen Machine Head once, but they were amazing, but I didn't really know many songs back then, so this would be a really good experience. I've got really high hopes for the new album, Killers and Kings. The, the vocals are amazing, and obviously the drumming, like every groove metal drummer like Mass Stones, for example, is absolutely amazing. So check out Killers and Kings if you haven't already. Okay guys, number two is Slipknot, Devil and I. Now Slipknot have been gone for a long time. Since 2009, since the release, All Hope is gone. And I imagine they haven't really made much music since because of the death of Paul Gray and because Joey Jordison left. But still, I still had high hopes for this album and that was a reason why people were so critical towards the new songs just like Mach well, Machine Head Slayer. Um, because you know, when they have like a loss of members that they think are important, they just think that it's going to be a shit song or a shit album, but it's not. Uh, Devil and I is brilliant, the chorus is a really epic, Corey Taylor does a really great vocal uh, stuff in it. Um, the riffs are really evil and they're really good, you know, and Corey Taylor is amazing, the lyrics is amazing and vocals, and the whole band, whether they don't have a, you know, a bassist or a drummer, well, they, they have a drummer, but no one knows who it is yet, but it's still an amazing song. So, uh, yeah, listen to Devil and I, don't be critical of it. Okay guys, number one is Killer Be Killed, The Wings of Feather and Wax. Now this is a new band that just came out in 2014, but I don't want to say new because it's a super group of four different musicians who are all very talented in what they do. Max Cavalera and Troy Sanders, I'm a really big fan of theirs. I love Masters on the Software. I haven't really listened to the other two guys, but I do appreciate their music and they are really good musicians. Um, this song is absolutely amazing. It combines all four styles into one song. This this song is like all four bands in one. It's amazing. You've got like a really epic chorus. You've got Max's tribal drummings in it, and his like heavy screaming like um, his his like verse in it. It's absolutely amazing. There's no song so far that I've seen that could be this. And this is my favourite album of the year. If you like metal or you don't, I think you'll still enjoy this because it's not really heavy, it's just really epic singing. Um, I just, there's just nothing wrong with this song at all. Killer Be Killed are one of the best bands that I've listened to this year. And I really hope that they go on tour, they haven't talked about it yet because they've only just come out. I don't know if they will because it's a super group, but they really need to carry on making music and they need to go on tour. Anyway guys, that is my top 10 favourite songs of 2014, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe, check out my other videos, I've just done a video on uh, the Sonosphere highlights at you at Nebworth, and I've uploaded a nice bucket challenge if you're interested. Um, but yeah, check out my channel in a bit. In a bit.